Hello my lovely Torians. How is everyone? This is Deborah, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance, and we are into mid-September 2019. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here in your reading. Thank you for those who have subscribed. Thank you to those who um, have shared the videos, um, who've supported others on the channel. <laughs> really appreciate it. I do thank you guys um, enough, so thank you so much. Now, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Um, I did a little bit of a pre-shuffle. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And there is a feeling of being in a bit of a battle. I have to be honest. Being in a bit of a battle. Now, this can be anything, right? But this Taurus has really been a battle where you have had to gather a lot of strength. Now, this can be emotional, right? It can be an argument. It can be a situation. It can be an issue at work, whatever this is. But Taurus, you have had to gather all of your strength in this battle. That's what I've been hearing, all right? Mm. Now, before we get into things, um, just to remind you, it's a general reading, all right? Keep the comments nice and light on the channel, guys. I know most of you, actually 99% of you always do. But there's the odd one, you know, what we call, as readers, what we call haters, right? <laughs> um, people that slander other people, um, people that say, oh, it's, it's a load of crap, etc., etc. You know, I don't even why, know why people do that. But anyway, um... I don't know why I'm saying this on your video, Taurus. I'm not picking you out by any means, but yeah, just um, keep the comments nice and light. Now, the other thing to say is kindly, kindly reminding you that this is, um, these videos should be watched on my channel. All my videos are under strict copyright, linked to my company, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance. All right, so Taurus, enough of the serious stuff, right? Let's get into your reading. And I'm going to be settling myself down just for a couple of minutes to get our usual channeled message from Archangel Michael. Okay, if you're tempted to fast forward, I would just take the time to just listen to this because it is from the divine and it is linked to your reading. There may be something that you get from the visual that you may not get from the reading itself. Okay, so without further ado, Taurus, let's do this. Okay, all right. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know, please, for mid-September 2019? Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, Taurus, I've been taken to a rodeo, right? Now, you know what a rodeo is, right? For those of you who don't, it is, um, it's quite fun. Um, a lot of people gather in a large space, a large room. It could be, you know, a pub or hall or something like this. And there's usually a load of sawdust on the floor and there's a big mechanical bull in the center. And basically various people get up and whoever stays on the longest, whoever can cope with the ride wins. All right. Now, what I'm seeing is um, there's a there's a blackboard in one corner and there's a load of people drinking and laughing and having fun. And it's kind of Western style, right? Everyone's wearing sort of, you know, jeans and vest tops and the guys are in check shirts. And, you know, it's quite cool. Quite cool. Loads of cowboy hats around. Um, there's a young girl whose turn it is next. And she's incredibly nervous, but she's absolutely determined to win to stay on this bull. So she heads up to the mechanical bull, somebody helps her on it, and she gets herself saddled and everyone's watching her. And there are a few chortles, there are a few chortles from, you know, some of the bigger guys in the room, as if they're saying, you know, look at this little girl, there's no way she's gonna stay on. Anyway, Taurus, the bull starts and, you know, goes up and down and swings around and up and down and swings around. And she's enjoying it. She's thinking, wow, this is, this is great. You know, I can do this. I can do this. And then within a couple of minutes, things start hotting up, right? Um, the bull is turned on to max in, term, in terms of the fact that now it's going round at twice the speed. Um, 
really jolting her left, right and centre. She's barely hanging on, barely hanging on. And just as she feels, you know what, I'm going to fall off, I'm going to fall off, the buzzer sounds and she's won. She's won. Crowd are cheering, people are chucking paper cups up into the air, right? And the commentator says, okay, so well done. You won the main prize. You won the main prize. And I don't know what it is. It looks like it's a big bottle of champagne or something. Anyway, so Taurus. Yeah, rodeo. Do you feel as if you've been on a rodeo? Do you feel as if you have hung on for dear life, right, to something, a situation, someone? But it seems, Taurus, as if you've won, right? Have you won something, someone, managed to keep going, managed to stick it out, and you seem to have been victorious is the word coming through victorious now michael's telling me on a very small side note this is actually whatever you've been through taurus has actually been quite serious all right so this has been something that has been quite draining for you you might have spent quite a long time dealing with okay dealing with but you seem to feel as if you have been victorious all right thank you michael so without further ado guys, thank you for waiting for that little message from Michael and let's get into this. Let's see. Still kind of recovering from the Aries reading, which my God was really heavy. <laughs> ah, so anyway, I don't know why I mentioned that in this reading. Maybe you are linking to an Aries, but here we go. Wow, Taurus. What are you going through? What have you been through? <sighs> Taurus. Okay. All right. Let's see. You'll be all right. <laughs> all right. Mm. Okay. I now understand why Michael said this is quite serious. Um, I think this is you winning a battle, Taurus, as opposed to you winning, for instance, somebody over. Okay? Yeah. God, heavy readings this month, guys. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Ten of Pentacles under the deck. Taurus, I think that whatever this is, it's been difficult. It's been draining. Now, what I'm really feeling that this is about is potential divorce separation. I've got to be honest. Interesting. Underneath that, we have the Emperor. Now, the Emperor is the card of Aries. So you could have been linked to an Aries or you were dealing with somebody who I'm feeling was trying to manipulate you out of money. Interesting. OK, guys, let's see where this is going to go. I'm going to move the camera down a fraction, a little bit. OK, it's a bit better. I'm going to hold up each card to the camera anyway, and I'll try not to run over um, and move through this. Give you the message coming through. So, Taurus, we start with, my God, ooh, three of swords in reverse, Taurus. Healing from a broken heart. Healing after the ending, I'm feeling, of a relationship. OK. I mean, this is, you can't flower this up. You cannot make this pretty. You cannot say that this is good. This is tough. This is painful. This is heartbreaking. Okay. Now, this could be the person that you're dealing with going through this. All right. Man or woman. But I'm feeling that what we are looking at here, Taurus, is the ending of a long-term relationship. And you dealing with the aftermath of that, which could well be the battle, right? The actual divorce, division of the assets. 
yes okay but this is really over Taurus there is no going back from this ten of swords it is final this has been very difficult now Michael's saying for all parties involved this has been very difficult in the past we have the eight of cups so this is the energy of somebody walking away from a situation that they put a lot of emotional investment in. Now, this could be a long-term commitment. This can be a marriage. Um, this could be a situation where a lot of other people were involved, family members, kids, you know, the whole shebang. Whatever you put a lot of time and energy and effort into Taurus, somebody here walked away. Now, I have a feeling it was the other person in the mix. I have a feeling it was the other person, but it could have been you. The reason why I'm saying I think that the other person walked away was that, is that in the immediate past, when somebody walked away from the situation emotionally, in the immediate past, you were healing from heartbreak. Okay, now if you were the one that walked away, why would you be heartbroken? So I have a feeling that somebody walked away from you, Taurus. It could have been due to somebody else in the mix. You could have found out that somebody else was involved. Maybe your partner fell in love with somebody else. Maybe they had an affair. Maybe you found out that you weren't the only one in their lives whatever this is, we have the three of swords pointing into that person's chest. This person has been healing potentially from a three-party situation, taking some time to stabilize the, your thoughts, Taurus, after somebody walked away and dealing with the aftermath of emotional disruption. Okay. Yeah. Now, I think this has given you time to really think about things. Think about what you wanted in terms of your future. Because whatever happened here, Taurus, there was no going back from this. We're not talking about a temporary separation. We are talking about somebody who said, this isn't working, we have to end it. I'm almost feeling as if you might have tried to change this person's mind. You might have tried to make them see your point of view. You might have tried to work on things with them, but Michael's actually showing me a brick wall. It was almost as if you couldn't get through to this person. This person wasn't listening to you. They were putting up massive defensive barriers and it's almost as if they had made a decision and there was nothing you could do. Nothing you could do to try and change their mind or persuade them otherwise. Now, what I'm also hearing from Michael, and it's interesting because my throat feels as if it's closing up. Whoever this was, I think, really pulled back in terms of communication at this point. I think if you had sent this person texts or emails and said, I really want to see you, because I have a feeling there was some kind of distance involved. This person may well have lived at a distance or this person could have temporarily moved out to stay with a friend or checked into somewhere else or whatever this is. But there was a time when you two were apart, but I think you just try to get this person to see your, your point of view, but you didn't have any luck. Okay. You didn't have any luck. So we have you healing, stabilizing your thoughts, thinking about what happened, thinking about your future ahead and wondering how this whole situation was going to pan out. In your thoughts, we have the six of wands. So I'm thinking what we are looking at here, Taurus, is somebody walking away from you in the past, a very painful emotional ending. And this reading is actually all about you fighting to get what you feel you are justified 
in receiving from the ending of the situation, right? With the Six of Wands energy, you could be thinking about the person that walked away from you. Now, this can be somebody who is quite egotistical, I have to admit. Whoever that person is, they want to be noticed, right? They're wearing really bright colours. They're moving through the crowd with their head held high, very victorious, feeling victorious, and people are looking up at them. This is somebody who wanted adulation, wanted attention, somebody who could be quite arrogant, okay? But this is also about you wanting victory and success in the situation, Taurus. If you were badly hurt, and this is no easy energy. I mean, ten of swords, three of swords, four of swords. This is difficult energy, painful. Then I think the way you viewed this was this person has completely broken, broken me, destroyed me, caused me so much heartbreak. The only way I'm going to pick myself up is to try and get justice for what they did. So you were hell-bent, and possibly quite rightly, Taurus, in getting this person down from this pedestal, right? Getting just desserts. Winning in terms of the aftermath of the situation. Archangel Michael, when are we looking at the energy in the immediate future, please? He's actually saying the end of September to the middle of October. Okay, Michael. Okay. We're looking at the energy of the Knight of Swords. Now, this could be somebody coming in to have a conversation, Taurus. Okay, we could be talking Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This could be you moving in fast to talk to someone about the situation. Now, this could very well be you reaching out to a mentor, a family member, even a divorce lawyer, right? Determined to get something out of this really painful situation. So this is fast communication, fast action and a message of truth. So maybe Taurus, after you realizing that there was no coming back from the situation, whoever left you, because that's what I'm feeling here, you realized that they were serious. You realized this was it. There was almost no discussion. And now this may be, a, may be your energy with the Knight of Swords coming in fast because I think now, at this point, you're realizing that this really is it. There's no going back from this. This person isn't communicating. You're not able to change their mind. There's no discussion. It's just final. And I think that this is now really hit home at this point. And you might be trying to reach out to them to say, you know, I know we had an argument, I know you said you wanted to finish it, I know that you said it's over, but really? Really? Can we not have a, a, a conversation about this? Can we not talk this through? And I have a feeling the other person is absolutely, Michael keeps showing me this stone wall. No, nope, over, over, over. Wow. And I'm feeling very tearful, Taurus, and I think if, for someone who's going through this, this is, this is tough. This is tough, guys. Whoever is in your environment is holding the energies of the High Priestess in reverse. Now, I have to say, this is somebody who has potentially come out of fantasy land, taken the rose-tinted glasses off. Maybe they thought everything was fine. Maybe they thought, thought for ages, oh, well, we're just going through a few issues, a few arguments, a few disagreements we can kind of sort it out or blindfolded to the truth that actually maybe Taurus in your heart of hearts you knew neither of you were actually that happy 
Now, there could also have been a Pisces in the mix, or you were dealing with a Pisces. But the High Priestess in the reverse is somebody who has now seen the reality of a situation. And this is your partner or the person you're thinking about, it's their energy. So maybe, Taurus, it was a last argument, maybe it was a last disagreement, it could have been something really small and insignificant. But to whoever this person is, it seemed to be the straw that broke the camel's back. It seemed to be the very last straw. And for whatever reason, I'm feeling as if this is somebody who just snapped. Enough is enough. I think this is not going to work out. I think we have to end it. Now, you might have thought to yourself, well, you know, this person said this so many times or we've had this discussion so many times. They always come back. They always come back. We always get things sorted, right? Not this time, Taurus. I think this is why you want to come in, come in and speak to this person. Try and get them to communicate with you because I think this person now is, is meaning business. Okay. In your fears, in your fears, we have the Hierophant. Now, this is really interesting because this is your energy of Taurus. So, in many ways, we could say that you are fearful of standing in your truth, telling the truth, being your authentic self, being honest with this person, trying to get through to them. Now, this is also you fearing that there will be issues based around religion and spirituality, because this is a spiritual leader, this is a teacher, this is a mentor, this is somebody connected with a church, a group of spiritual people, a community. Now, of course, the Hierophant is also my marriage card. So we could be actually talking about you fearing that your marriage is over. Taurus. In your hopes, we have strength in reverse. Now, if there was a Leo in the mix, then you are hoping that that Leo is not the reason why your partner decided to end things, I think, so abruptly, so finally. This is also you hoping, Taurus, to get back on your feet, to have the strength and the courage to hold your head high through all of this, Regain your composure, get your strength back, gather yourself together and have the confidence to move through the situation because this is not easy. It's not easy. I think if there was any question as to whether or not you could repair the situation, I think you might have to let this go, okay? Because we're looking at a challenging energy in the outcome, Taurus, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Now, this could be very clearly you realizing there is no going back. There is gonna be no one coming in. This partner isn't gonna come back to you and say, I'm sorry, let's work on it. I still love you. They're holding back. And I think you may well also, in the next few weeks, feel the same. Well, if they can leave me so abruptly, if they really feel this is over, and this for them is the final decision that they've made, then there's nothing I can do about it. I am not going to, I'm hearing lower myself, you know, to reach out to them and beg them to give us a second chance. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Holding your head high 
and just dealing with the fact that this is not going to be reconciliation. Now it may also be that whoever this person is or was, we have water sign energy here. They wanted to play the field. Maybe they were going through a midlife crisis. Maybe they wanted to have a fling with somebody else. And this situation they felt was keeping them trapped in a situation where both of you knew the love had gone. Because Taurus, if you look at this reading, and I don't want to cause anyone extra upset because this is tough as it is, but there's no love in these cards. Where is the love? Where is the togetherness? Where is the soulmate energy? There's nothing here, Taurus. All I see here is pain, ending, ego, and somebody who is literally just saying to you, this is it, I've had enough, I'm off. And you sitting in disbelief, whereas I think underneath Taurus, you knew that this day was going to come. You knew. I think you tried to hang on to this, but you knew in your heart of hearts it wasn't going well. In clarification, we have the Seven of Wands. This is a very defensive energy, but this is also you trying to stand your ground. Now, Taurus, you could have stood your ground against somebody who was a fire sign. Okay, you could have fire in your rising moon or Venus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, this could be you defensive about whoever your partner is saying to you, there is another woman in the mix. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I want to be with someone else. Maybe this is your partner's energy. Defending their, dare I say it, Taurus, happiness to be with whoever this woman is. Who ironically may be very upset in the situation. Because maybe the third party understood that your partner and you hadn't been happy for a long time and didn't understand why they'd taken so long to put an end to the relationship. Now, I don't want a lot of comments, okay, about, you know, third parties splitting up marriages. You know your true story, Taurus. But I do get a feeling here that there is somebody who wanted to be with somebody else. And whatever happened here was kind of the last straw. 